Here we are, the Junior Tits Guiding Star documentary about an artist from Jamaica, a place where over two million tourists visit, not knowing about the harsh realities that go on every day. Right now I'm scared. All around is just going on war. Some of the youth fall victim to the negative statistic. Some of the youth see a way out to do something better with their lives and don't waste it with guns and violence. There's many times that I could have gone and pick up guns. Because where I live, gunman's all over. In front of my yard, behind my yard, or next door. Kingston, Jamaica is a dangerous place. And a lot of good artists come out of this place, including Junior Toots, the son of reggae icon Toots and the Maytals. Here's a Junior Toots story. Junior Toots is the voice of the people, the voice of the streets, in many ways. Because I'm singing not for myself, but because of the multitude of people that don't have any voice. And also I'm singing because music is such an inspirational tool. Um, so, you know, I'm the voice of the people. I was born in St. Mary, in the mountains, on the farm. And I grew up with my grandparents, my grandfather. And my grandmother and my mother and my father and my auntie and my uncles and so on and so forth. I had a great um, childhood. One time I went to swim by myself, to fishing, and I went into a current and the current was too strong and the current pulled me underneath some tree roots and I drowned under the tree roots and there was someone walking by and resuscitated me. And, um, you know, so that was a miracle within itself because I don't know how long I was there and it was just a blessing to someone be walking by and to be able to resuscitate me, you know what I mean? It took me some time to get my mind straight after that incident, even though I was young. So I, over time, I had to train my mind a lot of things because of that incident. So that's what I learned to sing in the church with my grandmother. When I was young, I wasn't much of a, a do-gooder. Um, I didn't really see the good. I didn't see the, the blessing in doing good at first uh, because it was a lot of work. I learned all the music when I was young from going into the church and going into different churches. I would stop by different churches singing and just to hear what they were saying and see what they were doing and just from curiosity. So you pick up a lot of um, different kind of chants and drum playing and different things, instruments. When I got older, I learned from my dad, spent time with my dad and went to the studio with my dad and gave a lot of experience like that, you know? So I learned from the streets, I learned from the church, I learned from my parents. And, um, and then I teach myself the rest of the way. There's only so much people can teach you, but if you have the, you have the zeal, <coughs> determination, and you have to teach yourself a lot of things that they can't teach you in the textbook or you know, in, in class. I, ja, Rastafar, I, Eli, Celestia, I. Life of a nourish, do good works and your works will flourish. Youths are the fruits of the years we are cherish. Righteous escape while the wicked man pays. Yeah. I wasn't really fussy about being a singer or anything like that. My main focus was farming. <laughs> At a young age, I could see that if you had your own food um, and then you had a surplus of food, you could. You could survive. A lot of the coffee that came off my farm was sold in Jamaica and sold internationally so um, I knew the power of farming from a young age it's a good place to learn responsibility
Yeah, man, throughout my life in America, I would always take off and go on the road with my dad because, you know what I mean, my sisters would be there, my brothers would be there, and it would be a great time in the summertime, in the wintertime. I would just call ahead and let him know that I was going to be coming on the road with him. And I would pack my bags and go on the road and have a great time introducing him, uh, working security, um, developing my craft backstage, watching my dad, learning, learning, and giving myself time to learn and time to practice and time to improve. It was a great experience. Going on the road with a big, a big band and you know, 12, 13, 14 people, tour bus, touring with different legends and different upcoming acts from Jamaica and America and Africa. You pick up a lot of things and uh, meet a lot of people and uh, it was a great experience for me. I did the Little Bit of Love album um, while I was recovering from a head injury. It was a funny story, um, but nothing to laugh about. <laughs> I, um, I was in um, Los Angeles at the time and I was at a studio and a friend of mine came to the studio and was just robbed and beaten. So uh, I made some phone calls to investigate and found the guys who did it. And then they then came to the studio to raid the studio about 20, 20, 20 guys deep two AKs and lots of handguns and I, I got injured in the face and no one died. The incident inspired Junior Toots. He turned a negative into a positive. After the drama, Junior Toots got back in the studio and wrote Puss and Dog, a ska song that reached hundreds of thousands. Once upon a time, not so long ago, birds and bees. The flowers and the trees, the bees and the wasps, they used to go to school. But after the first semester, the wasps start to walk a fool. Think he knows it all, just because he learned to stink. He never realized the knowledge and the fullness of the thing is that when love increases, that's what I make a king. And uh, I worked on the rest of the album. I was very grateful after the incident. Um, <coughs> Um, because my vocals were not damaged. It was just a head injury. My father is, uh, my father, my work is my work, but it's also a continuation of my father's work because my father's work is admirable. I admire him because in the face of so much hardship, he still promotes a lot of love. His vibration is really humble and just really respectful, not just on the road, but also at home and in the streets, in the community. You know, I am myself, and you can see my father in me in a good way. I watch my father work hard. You know, I watch my grandfather work hard, my mother work hard, my grandmother work hard. So, overall, in life, I believe that um, the great inspiration that I gather from my relatives is that you should work hard for whatever you believe in and what you want in life. And my father's a hard worker, and. Uh, he never stopped working hard and struggling for his family and, and as well as his extended family, his brothers and sisters and, and his, his niece and nephews and, uh, and, and his good friends. Going show to show with Junior Tits was an awesome experience. The show with Lee Scratch Perry was epic. Thank you. Junior Tits continues to rock crowds and make hits. Inspiring the youth is important to him. The positive vibes from his music is the best antidote for hard times and even good times.
Junior Tooch came from a rough place. The road was not easy. Like his father, Junior Tooch worked hard. Junior Tooch had some kids of his own. All of his kids are doing well. So the generation under him is carrying on a tradition, promoting hard work, peace, and love. Peace and love for everyone. Forever, yeah, yeah, yeah. And on and on and on, all day long, yeah. And on and on and on, all night long, yeah. Hey, love them. Because you're so on, all day long, yeah. On and on and on. What type of words you perform, all night long, yeah. Keep on.